This video is an introduction to Test Center. I'll be discussing what Test Center is all about and how you can use it to conduct various kinds of exams. So let's get started. So the first thing to understand is Test Center is a set of application that is designed to enable you to conduct small, medium, and large scale exams offline. And is a product of IEF Sawi Limited. So let's get started to exactly how Test Center works. So let's talk about how Test Center is structured. Test Center consists of two main applications. So the first application is known as Test Center Admin. And that is the current application you are looking at. It's known as the Test Center Admin. That's the application that runs on the PC that you designate as the server. Then we have other application that runs on the client. So let's take a look at that. This is the application that runs on the client. So this is Test Center Client. So where do you have the system? This system is expected to be on all the clients, all the client PC connected to the server. It is on the client application that candidates get to take their exams. So that's basically how Test Center is structured. So how do you set up Test Center? You set up Test Center by installing the Test Center admin on the server PC. So once it is, it's a normal installation process. Once you install the application, you launch it and this and it takes you to this interface. So this interface is what you will see once you install and launch Test Center Admin. So what about the client? How do you get the client? The client is just a standalone application that you can copy and paste on all the client PC. So let, let's take a look at how it, how it looks like. So on this window, you can see we have two applications. The first one is the test center admin. That's the one that you install. It's, a, it's an installer. You install it on the server PC. Then this is the client. This is a standalone application that you just copy and paste on any client PC and just launch it directly. It doesn't require any installation. Normally, you'll be expected to download just the test center admin. From the test center admin, you can easily get the test center client by simply going to file, file, then you click test center client. Once you do that, it will ask you to save the test center client to any folder of your choice. So this is how you can easily get the test center client without looking for any special download. So now I'm going to talk about in brief how test center works. So I'm going to run through some of the menus and give you a quick guide on how to use test center. So before you do anything, make sure that the server is on. Make sure that this server on, this status is on. If it is off, you won't be able to do any operation here. You won't be able to add content or do other things, basically. Okay, now that you have the server on, you don't need to turn it on by yourself. Once you launch it, it turns on its own. Except there's a weird problem. That's when it won't come on. Okay, so let's talk about the basic things you need to know here. Let's start with the settings. Under the settings, where you have server, you can easily change your business name, your business address, and so on and so forth. So what that means is, in case you have, you want to change the default business name address, you can change it to your own business name, to your own business address, and you click save. And once you've done that, is going to update this and refresh it accordingly. So then what, what about this refresh interval? The refresh interval specifies how long the client will wait before checking for any updates from the server. So you can leave it at 30 seconds. Then in case you have a business logo, you can change this default logo to your business logo so that the client app will reflect your business logo. Then this shows you the current version of the client app. So now let's go to the first, the second menu right from the top. That's content. So let's talk about content. 
So Tencent, on Tencent Admin, you can add your own content or you can use existing content that comes with the application. If you download the application, you will see some pre installed content. For example, there's this content of Bessa, which is a, 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 a question bank for Junior Wike. Then we have question bank for Common Entrance, which is NCEE, that's National Common Entrance Exam. Then we have question bank for Wike, and we have question bank for UTME Mock. You can add your content. You can add your content from a local PC if you have prepared your content. If you want to get more content from Test Center website, you can choose this option and you'll be able to do that. There are a lot of options here. And the third option allows you to get content directly from a URL. The next thing is how do you what about the candidates? How do you create candidates? So I'm going to create a candidate very quickly so you have an idea of how to do that. So I'm going to click add. So let's say so once you click add, you'll be expected to provide at least the reg number and the name. The reg number will be auto-generated for you, but you can change it if you want to use your own reg number. So in this case, I want to use my own reg number, and that reg number is Toby. I'm going to use the following name, Toby Okoro. So this will be the name. Then the email address is optional. The phone number is optional. You can provide them if you wish to if you wish to associate an email address or phone number to this particular candidate. Then you can also choose the class. I'll talk about this in later later video where I'll explain in detail what to do for the class name. Let me just click save. So here we have a candidate. So you can add as many candidates as possible. And you can also import candidate, but I'm not going to go into detail as regards this. So now we've created a candidate. So how do we set test? How do I create a test for this candidate? Okay, to create a test is as simple as you go into test. You go to manage, then set test, then provide the reg number of the candidate. So in this case, reg number is Toby. Then you'll be asked to select content. So which question from which question bank do I want to set this test. So I want this test to be from UTME more. Then the number of subjects before. Then let's proceed. So here you'll be presented with all you'll be given all the subjects under that particular question bank. So here I want to pick English, I want to pick math, I want to pick let's say economics and let's say uh biology then the other thing i want to do is to select mock two maybe mock two mock so you can pick as many you can pick the season of your choice then the number of questions for 60 40 40. so you have other options like the time here i miss i, I i'm going with two hours then you can choose to shuffle and all of other settings, but I'm going to skip all of this for now. So once you click save, then you have your test created. So this is how you create candidate and test. And you can also import test data from Excel, from CSV, from table, and so on. So now, what do you do once you have your test? You can't, this candidate can't sit or take any exam unless he or she is licensed. So there's this idea of licensing. But I won't go too much into detail. There are other videos that you should look out for that will explain the idea of licensing and all of that. So I'm going to license this candidate so I can take an exam and see how it works. So to license this candidate, I need to create a license account. So I already have an, an account. If I don't have any account, you just create everything here. Just provide your name, your email address, your password and that's how you create a new account but in my case i already have an account so here i'm going to use this account so yes my email address that i'm going to provide my password i'm going to proceed 
so now I have my account then I can refresh to see my remaining license and all of that so now that I've gotten my license sorted out the next thing is go back to manage so I'm going to license this candidate you know I'm going to give this candidate license to sit for this exam so every time you license a candidate you, you your license that you have will be deducted so in this case I'm using four license because I have four subjects so I'm going to click on proceed and now this test is licensed so once it's showing pending it means the candidate can actually sit for this exam so let's sit for this exam so I'm going to go to the client click uh, type my reg number which in this case is Toby you can type it in any case that is not it's not case sensitive then you click on proceed so once you do that so you can imagine this interface as the interface the candidate will see because this this interface will be on the client PC and the candidate will be able to see that oh I, I registered for English math economics biology and you will see the number of questions as as you can see here then you have the total number of questions to be two hours and the time the duration rather to be two hours and you can click on start so once you click on start what happens is the exam begins so you can see that we have the following question so you can read question you can answer the question and so on and so forth so here we have English here we have math then here we have economics then here we have biology So once you are done, you can submit. So in this case, let me quickly answer some questions before submitting. So now I can click on submit, then submit, and that's it. So the test for this particular candidate is over, and the candidate can leave the exam all at this point in time. So now let's go back to the admin and let's see what the status is now. So the status is submitted. That means this kind this exam is over and you can now see results and any other thing that you wish to see. So let's check out the result here. So from the admin you can see results and many other things. So for instance, I can just view the detailed results. So this gives me an idea of the score, the time spent and and so on and so forth so in this case here's the breakdown of how I perform then I get to see performance by uh, topic as well so I can pick any subject to see how I perform based on each uh, subject then from here I can also do correction so in case you want to print out the correction for any of these subject you can do that from the admin so i can take any subject then take a look at each of the each take a look at each of the corrections and print them out if i want to then another thing you can do is you can send results as email to the candidates if the candidate has an email associated with the account or you can send their results as sms so that this is how you create candidate and this is how you also take a test so there are other things here but I'm not going to go too deep into them at this point so watch out for other videos that will go deep into each menu of uh, this application thank you